this talk, so hold your questions till then. And he'll also be signing copies of his book at the Pennington's uh, tent as well if you want to get up close and personal with him. But now, please join me in welcoming John O'Farrell. indeed for that uh, warm welcome and uh, it's great to be in Hay, my first time. Um, you get to do all sorts of events uh, as an author, some great big for happy events like this, other smaller, more, more serious things. Um, I was asked to do a reading uh, last month actually um, by Amnesty International. They wanted us to uh, read the works of writers who'd suffered imprisonment in their own country. Um, I chose Geoffrey Archer actually. <laughs> I'm delighted to be here in the world capital of bookshops um, and proper bookshops as well. I still quite haven't got my head around the fact that uh, um, some of my novels and things are sold in supermarkets. You know, you, you go into Tesco's and you say, oh, hello, I'm looking for Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And they go, oh, yeah, magical realist, I'll sell you. <laughs> Do you want to hand with that big brown set for the car, you know? Um, <laughs> And you get to meet other authors, which is fantastic. Um, and, uh, uh, I always feel a bit of a fraud when I get put with uh, other authors, you know. Oh, well, yes, you do get to meet all sorts. I did, I did do an event uh, a while back with an SAS author, Chris Ryan. Very firm handshake, I can <laughs> um, uh, But it's, it's, it's compulsory now down the road at Hereford when they train for the SAS, you know. It's a name, rank and ISBN number. <laughs> You learn how to strip down a fountain pen in 9.3 seconds. Yeah. Um, so I, I did a few jokes at his expense at this event, and then he got up to speak after me and said, Well, I don't know if I can be as funny as John, but we'll have a good laugh later when I take him outside and give him a good kicking. <laughs> 